A trend in the communication space is the elimination of analog telephone lines, or plain old telephone service. Your emergency phone lines, like those in your elevators, need to be treated differently than your other business lines. Here we have a quick chat with Dave Mann, our VP of Technology, on just that. I started in central stations when I was 18 years old, uh, fire and security central station. Um, I started on third shift and the technology at the central station was very intriguing to me so I started studying and, and got into a technical role there and I spent eight years at the first central station that I worked for. When I moved to North Carolina I started at another central station which I spent 13 years at that central station that was purely in a technical role there. I then moved to Baltimore and spent two years with another central station uh, in general management and project management but as just a natural gravity I was also in a technical role there as well. From there I started my own consultancy and spent seven years consulting back to the central station industry. I had more than 50 clients, some of which were Fortune 50 companies, uh, all the way down to some very small central stations that had you know, seven people on staff. I began working with Kings 3 uh, as the IT director, uh, and I've been here for uh, eight and a half years. Uh, one of the focuses at Kings 3 has been in cellular technologies, and that's for a number of reasons, but one of the primary reasons is, is that uh, POTS lines, plain old telephone service, uh, has become very expensive and in some areas isn't even allowed to be established anymore. Uh, the POTS lines are part of an older analog technology that is being abandoned and, and sunsetted by uh, most of the companies that are providing it. As part of that sunset, the cost of those POTS lines has uh, increased dramatically in some areas and our cellular solution actually will save money, uh, sometimes substantial amount of money, uh, over having a POTS line. Kings 3 has long had an alternative for that in the fact that our phones are cellular capable. So when a customer has a, a VoIP telephone system and they want to use their VoIP telephone system for their elevator communications, I think some of the things that they don't consider are that that emergency communications path has to meet certain requirements. Uh, those requirements include having uh, four hours of idle time, and that's sometimes very difficult with a VoIP telephone system. When you lose power, oftentimes that, that phone system goes down. If you want to include that in your emergency phone uh, network, then it also will have to have four hours of uptime minimum in order to keep the emergency phone in the elevator code compliant. Also with a phone system, even a VoIP phone system, it does complicate the code requirement to be able to call back into the elevator. 